Bible says you're baptized by one spirit into one body. And there are many that are gathering at churches, but not in the body. And there's so many men in the pulpit jumping and hollering and skipping around, but not in the body. That's right. God have a church, a church, the church, one church. But the devil, you can't even count how many churches he has. That's right. The devil have a church for everybody. Whatever your wants are, whatever your lusts may be. The devil have a church that is designed right for you. If you want to go to hell, the devil will give you a church. <laughs> Did you hear what I said? I know that may sound strange, but I'm telling you the truth. If you want to go to hell, you don't even have to go to the bar today. You, don't even, you can stay away from every club in the world. Don't have to smoke, don't have to drink, none of that. And still go to hell. That's right. All you got to do is wander in some church. Yeah. Because you know what? 99.9 .9 churches in the world don't have nothing to do with God. Yeah. <clears throat> you know how frightening that is? <clears throat> the devil went in church business. And I must commend him. He done a good job. In every neighborhood all around America and in the foreign countries, churches, at rascals in business. When I was in Sierra Leone, West Africa, the devil was there before I got there. From Sierra Leone, I went to Liberia. The devil was there waiting for me to arrive. Went to the African island of Mauritius, wall to wall churches. Flew from Mauritius to the African island of Rodriguez, wall to wall churches. Mm -hmm. Went from Africa and flew to India. So many churches, I could not count them. Oh, Never mind America. In every neighborhood, you can have a neighborhood where every house is abandoned and there's full of vacant lots mm -hmm. and all the property is dilapidated. But somehow, some way, even where there's no house, <laughs> <That's right. laughs> I hardly have a neighborhood. That's right. Somehow or another, there's a cross That's pointing right. up, and God is not in it. That's right. Why did the devil go in such mass production of religion? Because Satan know that there are many sincere, honest people who really want to be on God's side. So the devil is multi-talent. He's wise enough to know one strategy is not good enough to trick people. So he got to use a variety of methods and regardless of the method that he used, they all will still lead you to the same place. That's right. Now, do you get what I'm talking? That's right. Many of you say, I don't drink, I don't smoke, I don't, I, I'm not living in a dutch, I don't fornicate, I don't, I talk well and good. And that's nice, beautiful. I'm happy for you. But what kind of religion do you have? You can be a virgin and still go to hell. Amen. Amen. You can claim you're a Christian and still go right to hell. That's right. Because the devil went in church business and many of the people of God ignorant to the Bible. Because they go to church jumping and shouting and hollering without a teacher to teach you the Bible. Learning the Bible give you the knowledge of good and evil. Are you listening to the old man? We, as the people of God, must have the knowledge of good 
and evil. That's right. That's what the Holy Ghost wants you to know tonight, so I gotta park my car there. Park there. Amen. That's Let's good. drive to the book of Genesis. In the book of Genesis, chapter two. Amen. Let's go to work. Follow me. Follow me. And get me. I want you to get this. Genesis chapter two. We'll start at verse 15. Now we are gods. That's right. That's right. I want you to understand this. <laughs> There's one almighty God. Amen. But when God made man in his image, mm -hmm. man also took on the title of his maker. In Psalm and 82. man is called God. That's right. Now, being called God doesn't mean he is God equal to the God of heaven. No. But he's made in God's image and he bears God's title. That's right. Let me show you this in the Bible. I want to educate you real good today. Psalms 82 and at verse 6. Follow me. I have said. You see this? Mm -hmm. Give chapter and verse again. Psalms 82 and at the sixth verse. Begin at verse 5. At verse 5. All right. They know not. <laughs> Start off confessing. <laughs> That's right. The ignorance that is in the people today. Amen. They know not. Neither will they understand. Neither will they understand. They walk on <coughs> in darkness. They walk where? In darkness. That's a sad stage to be in. How many here can bear witness to that scripture? Yeah. All of us were victims of darkness and some still are. Mm -hmm. But one of the acts of mercy that came from God toward us mm -hmm. when light shined in the darkness. That's right. And the book says darkness comprehendeth it not. Yes. Right. What you mean light shine in darkness? The wisdom of God came into an atmosphere that was polluted with ignorance. That's right. And because of our ignorance it made many of us reject Fight, denounce, yeah. push away the light of God mm -hmm. in order the nature of the flesh to push aside what we don't understand. That's right. Especially when we just can't grasp it and too tough for us. Mm -hmm. We don't like it because it's against our will. Yeah. You know the way a child get when mother wanted to eat vegetables? When that child learned how to eat that baby food, those vegetables all mushed up like applesauce. Mm -hmm. The child is hungry, but the first time <clears throat> that vegetable hit his mouth, his whole face changed. That's right. He was all eager, moving around in the chair, and mother like, come on. Setting him up, you know. <laughs> Come on, an old child just hitting and happy. But when that green looking stuff hit his mouth, even a child. <laughs> then he look at you, can't talk, but in his eyes. What did you do to me? That's right. <laughs> you tricked me. That's right. When the word of God come, hmm. and many say, I want to be saved. I want to make the first resurrection. I don't want to be lost. I want to be whatever God want me to be. We say that before we find out what do God require of us. That's right. Am I right, I said? That's right. The true challenge of our testimony is when we find out what God want us to do. That's it. Then and only then you will begin to find out whether you really want to be saved or not. Or not. Listen. They walk on in darkness. They walk on in darkness. All the foundations of the earth are out of course. What? All the foundations of the earth are out of course. Everything went wrong. That's true. There's only one foundation that's still intact. Yeah. And that was laid by Jesus Christ. That's right. Other foundation can no man lay than that which is laid. Yes. Otherwise in that all other foundations. Now let me broaden that statement mm -hmm. and give you some good knowledge. Amen. 
Every religion of man mm -hmm. has a founder. That's right. To have a founder, he has to lay a foundation. That's right. If there is no other true foundation other than what God laid, mm -hmm. then the religions of the world, get what I'm telling you, mm -hmm. are driven off course. Of course. Do you hear what the prophet said? For all the foundations how, of the how earth. How much? How all, much? All the foundations Baptist, of the earth. Baptist, Catholic, mm. Presbyterian, mm -hmm. Lutheran. You know when you're off course, you're not following the plan. That's right. Detour sign. Got more than one God? You off course. Of course. Amen. That's right. Got a trinity? <laughs> you, you, you way off course. Out of course. You just so far out of course, your, your, uh, the force is evil. Mm -hmm. eh? That's right. The course is evil and the force is not right. Not right. That's right. Because you have deviated from a foundation that God laid. That's right. All right. All the foundations of the earth are out of course. <clears throat> and I have said. I have said. Ye are gods. Ye are gods. And all of you, all of you, are children of the Most High. Now, ye are gods. You're gods. I'm a god. Mm. <laughs> yeah, man. That's right. Mm -hmm. You that are watching, you are gods. That's right. Everything in here, mm -hmm. you are gods. You're gods. Not that you are eternal. No. Not that you are equal. No. Not even to the power of the sun. That's right. But you are God's main. Mm -hmm. You are what? And all of you are children. Children. Of the most high. That's it. The first one that had knowledge of good and evil was God. That's right. So when the book says, ye are gods, gods. that means you have the knowledge of two entities. Yes. Go ahead. You have the knowledge of two forces. That's right. You have the knowledge of two worlds. Mm. And you have the knowledge of two powers. That's right. And you have the knowledge of two different tie kinds of conduct. Mm. And you have the knowledge of two spirits. That's right. And you have the knowledge of two ways mm. that is given by these two spirits. That's right. Give me the epistle of John. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm saying there's only one spirit. Uh huh. It's one spirit and there's two spirits. That's right. There's only one spirit that you baptize in and you put in the body by one spirit. But there's two spirits. Mm -hmm. And John tell us, hereby. No, we. No, we. In 1 John chapter 4 yeah, and verse yeah. 6. We're going to score tonight. Mm -hmm. Listen at this. 1 John chapter 4 and at verse 6. Says what? We are of God. Spirit one. <laughs> Go ahead. We, are, we God. are of God. Of God. He that knoweth God. He that know God. Heareth us. You won't fight us. That's right. Am I right, I said? That's right. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Hallelujah, Go ahead, God. Do you hear what the Holy Ghost said? He that knoweth God. He that know. Holy. When it says you know God. Mm. Is broader than knowing his divine nature. That's right. Because when it says he that know God does what? Heareth us. In order for you to hear us and accept what you hear, you got to know God through the letter. That's right. That's right. Because God is the word. <laughs> That's right. Know God. Mm -hmm. Understand God. That's it. Mm -hmm. He that knoweth God. He that know God. Heareth us. You won't reject nothing we tell you. That's right. What else? He that is not of God. He that is not of God. Heareth not us. So if you're not of God, you still belong to somebody. That, that's right. 
You're not of God. That's why you fight the baptism in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The Bible spoke plain. He here. that is not the of Bible God. The Bible spoke plain. The Bible spoke plain. He that he is that is not of God. Heareth not us. You won't hear nothing what God said. That's, That's right. why you fight baptism. Mm -hmm. That's why you fight Holy Ghost speaking in tongues. Mm -hmm. That's why you justify living together, not married. Yeah. Anything God said that you don't believe because you're not of God, oh, God. you won't hear us. That's right. Oh, uh, no. That's why some television stations cancel our program. Not of God. Not of God. Not of God. You don't want to hear us. That's right. I think of the station in Jamaica I, when we first got started there, I think it was TVJ. TVJ, put us away. <laughs> Amen. I, I, oh, God, because when the word of God hit TDJ, it, it was like a tsunami. <laughs> Too strong for them. Too strong. Thank God. And when they got rid of us, CBM picked us up. Mm -hmm. Thank God. And it was a blessing from God. Amen. Stations that got rid of us because of the truth that we preach, when they got rid of us, other stations swung in. Yeah. Thank God. It was like a bat catcher. That's right. Amen. And we kept swinging. That's right. Now listen at this. He that is not of God. If you're not of God. Heareth not us. Now you that claim that you're born again and you are Christian yeah. and you love Jesus. Amen. Then why in the world you get upset when we tell you what the word of God says? That's right. If you're up, they that are of God mm -hmm. will hear God's word. We are of God. Yeah? That's right. Do you hear the word of God talking? We are of God. We are of God. He, we are by God. Mm -hmm. We are in God. Mm -hmm. We are through God. Mm -hmm. We are for God. He that knoweth God. He that know God. Heareth us. What? He that knoweth God. You got to know him. Heareth us. You got three. You don't know him. You don't have don't a clue who he is. That's right. You trying to make God your race. No. You don't know him. No. You sitting around waiting for a black God and some of you waiting for a white God. Right. He's just God. That's it. No nationality can be connected to him. That's right. Eh? He that knows so I, God. So I said, well, wait a minute. Jesus was a Jew. That's right. But God wasn't. No, no. Mm -hmm. Come on, preachers. Can you get what I'm telling you? That's right. Jesus was a Jew. That's right. That's but right. not God. No, God is a spirit. No, the spirit is of no nationality. That's right. The spirit was in a Jew. That's right. Like now, the yeah. spirit is speaking out of a Jewish Gentile. That's right. <laughs> that's, that's right. I'm a Gentile. Amen. And a Jew. And a Jew. I'm a Gentile because I'm not a Jew by nationality, mm -hmm. but yet I am a Jew whose uh, praise is not of men, but of God, and that's I'm right. circumcised in the spirit. For he is not a Jew. Hallelujah. Glory to God. That's right. What of God, which is the sword of God, got a hold of my heart and cut it. Cut it. Amen. Circumcised it. Hallelujah. That's right. Made the stony heart fall apart. That's right. So I'm a Jewish Gentile. Yeah. I'm related to Abraham, not mm. by blood. No. But by faith. By faith. Yeah. That's right. What makes me a Gentile? Because I'm of a other ethnic group or nationality naturally that's it all right son come on we are of god are you mm -hmm. we are of god he that knoweth god he that know god heareth us hear us he that is not of he god he that is not of god heareth not us all right listen at this i want to get the two spirits listen Hear listen listen mm -hmm. listen listen hereby hereby know we the spirit of truth one spirit and and the spirit of error two that's right that's right truth and error. Truth and error. Truth is a spirit. Mm, the spirit of truth. Error is a spirit. And the spirit what, of error. What kind of spirit? It's mm. a lying spirit. It's a lying spirit. Mm? That's right. It's a lying spirit. That's right. So here you have the spirit of God, mm -hmm. which is the spirit of truth. Mm -hmm. And everybody that loves God, if you really love them, mm -hmm. you will accept the spirit of truth of truth it is the spirit of truth that inspired scripture that's right now knowledge of good knowledge of evil that's the definition of ye are gods ye are now let's go back to the book of genesis back because genesis. even the devil had that knowledge that's right oh yes the devil had that knowledge that's right listen at this you that are here you that are listening now come on in, now in genesis chapter 2 we'll start at verse 15. what is it and the lord god took the man and put him into the garden of eden now god took man mm -hmm. 
made man in his image. Man, you are made to reflect God. That's right. The reason why it wasn't a group of men made in the beginning, mm -hmm. because it's not a group of gods. That's right. So he, God being one, mm -hmm. he made man on earth that his will may be done in earth as it is in heaven. That's right. <laughs> That's right. And when he made man in his image, he made one in the beginning. Mm -hmm. And the one man on earth reflect the one God of the universe. That's right. Are you listening? That's gotcha. right. What did he say? And the Lord God took the man. The Lord God took the man. And put him into the Garden of Eden to dress it and to put keep him it. in the Garden of Eden to maintain it. And the Lord God commanded the man, saying, Of every tree of the garden, thou of every eat. tree of the garden, you can eat that. But of the tree. Uh oh. Notice the language of the scripture. But of the tree. Before a tree come into being, mm -hmm. it begins as a seed. That's right. And the seed must be planted. That's right. Then nurtured. Mm -hmm. The seed is not quickened except it die. Mm -hmm. Once it die, then it's quickened. Right. And when it's resurrected from the dead, mm -hmm. something different come up. Right. Than what went down. That's right. Now, tree represent that which is planted. That's right. Listen. But of the tree. Of now, the Adam. Mm -hmm. Adam. Mm -hmm. The tree. Of the knowledge. Of the knowledge of good, of good and evil, and evil, thou shalt not eat of it. Shalt not, shalt not eat of it. Now you that are here, you have to digest good. That's good right. is something you eat. That's right. And evil is something you eat. That's right. Because for either seed to come in you, mm -hmm. it first must be planted. Then it grow. That's right. Now let's look at the conversation that Satan mm -hmm. had with the woman. Mm -hmm. Because Satan had the knowledge of what the prophet said right. about being gods. That's right. Listen. Now in Genesis chapter 3 and we'll start at verse 1. All right. Now the serpent was more subtil than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made. You know these dumb hell deserving preachers. <laughs> they deserve to go to hell. Amen who will come before the people around the world and tell them the devil don't have no power. That's a lie. How in the world are you going to tell me the devil don't have That's no power when war broke out in heaven because of him? That's right. Because of him. That's right. War broke out in heaven. That's right. Then the whole third was put out of because heaven. of him. That's right. Mm. Who you think got the world in the condition that it's in now? Mm. The devil. The devil. Who got the gay flags hanging on the churches? The devil. That's right. Hmm? That's right. Do you hear this? Now the serpent was more subtle. The serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made. I have to break this down as I go. I just can't help to see things. Yeah. Snakes don't talk. <laughs> no. Let me say it again. That's right. God did not make snakes to talk. No. The serpent is more subtle mm -hmm. than, any, than beast. any beast of the field. That's right. The serpent represents Satan. Mm -hmm. The serpent represents the characteristics of Satan. That's right. Just like Satan is called that old, old, serpent. old serpent. Old serpent means he's an experienced deceiver or a master of deception. That's right. Satan is called great red dragon, dragon mm -hmm. but Satan is not a lizard. That's right. A dragon is a reptile. <laughs> Satan is not a reptile. No. But he have the characteristics of the dragon. That's right. Are you listening? Amen. Satan is called a roaring mm -hmm. lion. Mm -hmm. Devil's not a cat. No. No, no. So to understand Satan, mm -hmm. understand the characteristics of these beasts. That's right. 
And when you understand the characteristics of these beasts, you will better recognize what kind of evil is in people. That's true. That's right. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. In order to have proper knowledge of good and evil, I have to have knowledge. There's none good but one. That's right. That one is God. And that one is God. That's right. So for me to have knowledge of good, I got to have knowledge of God. Then I will understand the good that is in me and the good that I don't have. That's right. For me to understand evil. Evil. For me to learn evil, mm -hmm. I have to learn God. That's right. I said, wait a minute. God is not evil. That's right. That's right. But he made it. He made it. That's right. He made good. Good and evil. And evil. I formed the light. So evil is a creation of God. That's right. And if evil is a creation of God, when I learn God, he will show me how his creation works. That's right. That's right. How would God show me how evil works? He told me, don't be ignorant Satan's devices. of Satan's devices. devices. That's right. How can you expect me not to be ignorant mm -hmm. of the evil that you made? Yeah without you teaching me. That's right. Who can teach you about evil better than God? That's right. Are you listening? Amen. I want you to soak you a little. Now the serpent was more subtle than any serpent beast of the field. was more subtle than any beast of the field. Which the Lord God had made. Which the Lord God made. And he said unto the woman, here you had Satan mm -hmm. talking to the woman. Right. But he's called serpent, serpent because he's being subtle now. That's right. This is the characteristics that the woman was, expo was exposed to, the subtle conversation of Satan. That's right. And if you look at Satan in his dialogue with the woman, he was subtle, mm -hmm. luring her to disobey God. That's it. Listen. And he said unto the woman, Yea, hath God said? Hold it. Viewer, notice. Mm -hmm. The devil didn't talk to the woman starting off talking about himself. No. Come to the woman talking to her about God. That's right. That's how the devil get close to you. That's right. He come bringing who you love mm -hmm. and what you want to hear. Amen. He come in the name of God. That's right. He come talking about God. That's right. He come pretending like he praising God. Yeah. But there's a message or an agenda behind his purpose. That's right. That's why he's more subtle. More, sub more than subtle. Than any beast of the field. That's right. Listen. And he said unto the woman. He said to the woman. Yea, hath God said. Yea. Now you would say, oh man, somebody talking to me about God, <laughs> they got God on their mind. Oh, oh, not necessarily. That's true. Mm -hmm. Yea, hath God said. Hath God said. Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden. That's the way the false prophet do. He come quoting scripture to you. Yeah. Thus saith the Lord. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's Thus right. Thus saith the Lord. That's right. Look at how the Satan talked to the woman. Then that God says, Ye shall not eat of every tree of the don't garden. Don't eat of every tree of the garden. And the woman said unto the serpent. The woman said to the serpent. We may eat of the fruit of the trees we, of the garden. Look at the dialogue. Mm -hmm. Look at the dialogue. And the woman said unto the serpent. The devil is the father of lies. That's right. The originator of falsehood. That's right. But yet he don't always lie. No. That's true. That's right. He's the father of lies, mm -hmm. but he don't always, always lie. That's right. He used truth to bait you into a lie. Yeah. Are you listening? Oh, yeah. He used truth to lure you into a lie. Mm -hmm. 
He don't use truth to open your eyes. No. He used truth to blind you blind. to a lie. That's right. You see, God used truth to open your eyes so you can see the lie. That's right. The devil used truth to blind you to the lie. Amen. That's true. Hallelujah to God. That's right. I hope you can see this. Now, the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field. The devil field. was more subtle mm. than any beast of the field. Which the Lord God had made. Which God made. And he said unto the woman, Yea, hath God said, Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden. Look at him, striking up the conversation. Yeah. He knew what God said. That's right. Huh? That's right. God said, don't, don't, don't you eat of the fruit of the garden. And the woman said unto the serpent. Ah, uh, now hold it. The moment the woman began to engage in conversation, yeah. that let the devil know she's interested <laughs> in what you begin to say. That's right. Huh? That's right. Amen. And the woman said unto and the serpent. And the woman said to the serpent. We may eat of the fruit of the we, trees of the garden. We. We may. That let her know right then. That's mm -hmm. letting you know that Adam had knowledge of what was said. Right. And Eve had knowledge of what was said. That's right. We may eat. So neither one had an excuse now. Right. All right. We may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden. We may eat what the trees produce. But. But. Of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden. I want y'all to listen closely. Amen. Of the fruit of the tree that's in the midst of the garden. God had said. God told us. Ye shall not eat of it. Neither shall ye touch it lest ye die. Viewers. Listener. Hmm. Are you touching anything? That you know God say, if you do, mm. you are go to hell. That's it. Now, let us not narrow touching down with using your hands. No. You can touch something with your mind. That's right. With your heart. That's right. Are you touching anything that God say, don't touch? Amen. He said, touch not, handle not. Handle not. Do you hear what Satan mm -hmm. said to the woman? But, and the woman said unto the serpent, What? We may eat of the fruit of the trees we of the garden. We may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden. But of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden. What? God had said, God ye said, Ye shall not eat of don't it. Don't you eat that. Neither shall ye touch it. Don't touch it. Don't Less, touch it. That's right. Because God knew that the tree will open up a world mm. that wasn't yet created. Amen. I want to say, wait a minute, Pastor Dennis. What do you mean the world wasn't created? They was right there on the world. Mm -hmm. They was in the world. They was in the world, mm -hmm. but there was a world they was not yet of. Well, how many worlds is it, Pastor Dennis? Quite a bit. It's quite a bit. Give me the book of Hebrews. Hebrews chapter 11. <laughs> Hallelujah to God. Amen. I want to teach you real good tonight. Hebrews chapter 11 and at verse 2. The Holy Ghost said. At verse 3. What is it? Through faith. Through belief. We understand. We un See, we understand this. That's right. That what? That the world. Spell it. W-O-R-L-D-S. The worlds was what? Were framed by the word of God. The frame of worlds is the bone of man. That's right. Each one of you is a world mm -hmm. within the world. That's right. That's why when God come, mm -hmm. he's coming for, let me make an example. Mm -hmm. If this building would be called church, right. but he's coming for the church. That's right. There's a church within what's called church. That's right. He gonna destroy the building that's called church, mm -hmm. but he gonna change what's in the church. What's in it? That's right. So the world that's on the planet Earth, he gonna change the holy world into spirit. That's right. But the world that the church is in, he gonna pass that away. Pass that away. That's right. By faith, world, world's plural. Framed. 
were framed by the word of God. Go back to Genesis. I have to strike it as I go. Back in Genesis chapter 3, we'll start back at verse 1. All right. Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made. What else? And he said unto the woman, Yea, hath God said, Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden. All right. And the woman said unto the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden. But of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God hath said, Ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. Uh -huh. And the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die. Liar. Amen. Amen. Hmm. Set her up. That's right. Liar. Ye shall not surely die. You, you won't die. For God doeth no. Now let me show you the knowledge of evil. Mm hmm that was given to him by good. That's right. For God doeth no. Evil made reference to good. That's right. That's right. There's none good but one. That one is who? God. But now evil is talking, which is the devil. God doeth no. The devil make reference to God. That's right. God doeth no. You see how he used God mm -hmm. to lure the woman? Yeah. Misusage of God. That's right. Misrepresentation of scripture. That's right. False prophets are being taught by the devil how to misrepresent God by using God. That's right. And when you're ignorant of the word of God, you don't know when the preacher is misrepresenting God and use the Bible as the appearance of representation. Some indeed preach Christ. Do you hear this? Now in the book of Philippians chapter 1 and at verse 15. Every way you can think of Christ is being preached. That's right. Give chapter and verse again. In Philippians chapter 1 and at verse 15. Says what? Some indeed preach Christ. Some indeed preach Jesus. Even of envy. Out of envy. And strife. Strife. And some also of goodwill. Some mean well. The one preach Christ of contention. One preach Christ just to start an argument. Not sincerely. He don't mean what he's doing. Supposing to add affliction to my bonds. Trying to prove something. But the other of love. Some preach out of love. Knowing that I am set for the defense of the gospel. What is it? What then? Uh-oh. Amen. What then? Notwithstanding. Notwithstanding. Every way. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah. And then the Bible ain't say every way that's right. No, every way. It just says every way. Every way. What happened? Whether in pretense. Whether in pretending. Whether in faking. Whether in hypocriting. Or in truth. Or doing it the right way. Christ is preached. Amen. 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 Whether in pretending or whether for real. Christ is preached. Amen. Christ is still preached. Christ is preached. Don't mean what they're doing, mm -mm. lying on them, hypocriting about them. Right. But Christ is still preached. Christ is preached. All right, let's go back to Genesis. Back in Genesis 3 and at verse 4. Listen, I want to take my time and soak you. And the serpent said unto the woman, ye shall not surely die. That's, listen, viewers, that's what your pastor tell you. That's you won't go to hell if Amen. you got a second wife. That's right. Amen. That's right. <laughs> You don't need no baptism. It's outward sign of inward grace. Mm -hmm. You won't go to hell. You won't be lost. The serpent. The Once serpent. saved, always saved. Yeah. You got a serpent in the pulpit. That's right. Huh? That's right. Hey, man, you got a serpent in the pulpit. Amen. Yes, you do. And the serpent said. Your serpent said. Your pastor said. Your mm -hmm. bishop said. Your would-be apostle said. Ye Come shall, on, son. Ye shall not surely die. You won't die. For God doeth know. What? That in the day you <coughs> eat thereof. The day you eat thereof. Then your eyes shall be open. Your eyes shall come open. And ye shall be as gods. Knowing good and evil. What does that mean? And ye shall be as gods knowing good and evil. Woman. That's the truth. The day you eat this. Mm -hmm. You're going to know good. And evil. And you're going to know the one that's talking to you. That's it. That's right. Now, <clears throat> when she ate, mm -hmm. knowledge entered into her. That's right. That wasn't there. That's right. Knowledge was talking to her mm -hmm. before it got in her. Mm. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. The knowledge... 
of evil, evil. was talking to her. Right. What was the purpose of talking to her? Right. Talking was planting. That's, that's right. <laughs> Words are seed. That's right. And when he talked to her, he was planting. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, brother. Are you listening to me? I, I, I want to detail go to this. Estrus. Glory to God, I want to give estrus. it to you. Give me second Esther. Chapter 4. Chapter 4. And we'll start at verse 29. And verse 29. If therefore that which is sown. If therefore that which is sown. Be not turned upside down. Be not turned upside down. And if the place where the evil is if sown. If the place where the evil is planted. Pass not away. Ha pass not away. Then cannot come that is sown with good. For the grain of evil seed. The grain of what? The grain of evil seed. The grain mm -hmm. of evil seed. Hath been sown. Right. Hallelujah. It was what? The grain of evil seed hath been sown. It was what? Hath been sown. Hath is past tense. That, that's right. Hath been. Go ahead. Go ahead, brother. Hath. It's past tense. It has been. So if it has been sown, when and where and in whom? In whom? When, where, and in whom? That's right. Give me the book of Timothy. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Go ahead, Pastor. Let's see where it was first planted. That's right. In the book of 1 Timothy chapter 2. Oh, you got it, huh? Oh, yes. Hallelujah to God. Amen. Come on, son. First Timothy chapter 2, we'll start at verse 13. Listen. For Adam was first formed. Adam was first formed. Then Eve. Then Eve. And Adam was not deceived. Adam was not deceived. But the woman but being the woman deceived. But the woman being deceived. Was in the transgression. The first one that received the grain of evil yes. was the woman. That's right. Satan came to her to plant seed. But I fear. Do you hear? Do you hear? Now in 2 Corinthians chapter 11 and at verse 3. But I fear. Lest by any means. Lest by any means. As the serpent. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah. As the subtle one. As the trickster. That's right. As the conniving one. As the serpent. As the devil. Beguiled Eve. Tricked Eve. Through his subtility. Through his subtlety. So your mind should be corrupted. So what? So your mind should be corrupted. So your mind should be corrupted. From the simplicity that is in Christ. Hallelujah. That's what the seed done. That's right. Now. When Eve received the planting of Satan. Amen. The planting was information. That's right. But look at the way he planted. Mm -hmm. First, he reminded her of truth. That's, yea, hath God said. He reminded her of truth, and then he mixed it, mixed it. with lies. That's right. That's why he earned the title serpent. Serpent. Notice the tongue of the serpent. Mm -hmm. It splits yeah. at the end. That's right. Represent true knowledge. That's right. Knowledge of good. Knowledge of evil. Knowledge of evil. But when the tongue go down in his body, it's not split. It's one. It only split at the end. That's showing right. you only when he speak, he's divisive. Go ahead, Pastor. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. When he speak, he brings confusion. Yeah. He divides. He separates you from the oneness. Go ahead. The devil makes you believe what he don't. What he don't. Do Trinitarians? Yeah. The Bible says, if thou believe there's one God, you do well. Do well. The devil believe in what? Trinity. You pray into three, and he know it's one. That's right. He don't believe that. He don't believe that. That's right. More Satan. Subtle. More subtle. Let's take a walk through the Bible. 
and see the very the different titles mm -hmm. that Satan has right that we may better understand his character and hopefully this will help you to understand what you're dealing with and what character of Satan you're up against. That's right. Is that all right? Amen. First, we'll start in Revelation chapter 12. Follow me. And at verse 3. And there appeared another wonder in heaven. A wonder is something that's out of the ordinary. Yeah. Yet it's extraordinary. That's right. A wonder in heaven. And behold, a great red dragon. A great red dragon. Mm -hmm. Red let you know he's clearly seen. Yeah. Clearly manifest. Mm -hmm. All right. A great red dragon having seven heads and ten horns mm -hmm. and seven crowns upon his head. Yeah. And his tail. His tail. Drew the third part of the stars of heaven. Hold it right there. We got to open up what the tail means. You can't look at tail from a kernel perspective and think it's just a reptile whipping his tail around. No, no, no. Tail is used to gather. That's right. To bring that which is out there close to him. That's right. Now, dragon is considered a carnivore. Right. Flesh eater. That's right. And God said what the serpent will do. Mm -hmm. How he will eat dust. In the book of Genesis chapter 3. Crawl on his belly. That's right. Eat dust. That's right. I, I have to break this down. Mm -hmm. Are you getting this, Jack? Come on, Sam. What is that? In the book of Genesis chapter 3 and at verse 14. What is it? And the Lord God said unto the serpent. The Lord God said to the serpent. Because thou hast done this. I want you seminary school preachers to get this because you liars have taught that the serpent one time was walking on his feet like a man. Yeah. You old hypocrite. Ain't no Bible said that. No. Well, what does it mean he crawled on his belly? We'll straighten that out. In Genesis 3 and verse 14. What is it? And the Lord God said unto the serpent, Because thou hast done this, Because thou hast done this, Thou art cursed above all cattle. You're cursed above all cattle, mean you're cursed above all creeping things. That's right. Mm -hmm. And above every beast of the field. Above every beast of the field. Upon thy belly shalt thou upon go. Upon thine belly shalt thou go. And dust shalt thou eat. Now the dust that God said you will eat. Mm -hmm will be the people you will consume. That's right. Why put him on his belly? On his belly. Mm -hmm. Why put him on his belly? That's right. Putting him on his belly is a form of punishment. That's right. Why did God punish him? Punish him. Give me the book of Isaiah. In the book of Isaiah chapter 14. Chapter 14. And we'll start at verse 12. Let me show you the way he was before he got on his belly. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer? What? Son of the morning. What is it? How art thou cut down You're to the ground? Cut down. Cut down. Cut down. Cut down to the ground. In order to cut someone down, you first have to take them from a high place. That's right. Cut him down. Cut him down. He was in a high place. That's right. An authoritative one. That's right. One that had power. That's right. But he got beside himself. That's it. Put him down. How art thou fallen from heaven? I'm going to bring you down. Amen. Cut down to the ground. What? Cut down. I'm going to cut him down. To the ground. And put him to the ground. Which did is weaken the nations. Cut down. What? What did Lucifer say within his heart? For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven. You see, you was too exalted. Right. And you was too high-minded. That's right. And because of your high mind, I had to cut you down cut you because down. you start thinking contrary to the thoughts of God. For thou hast said in thine heart. What? It, thou said what? In thine heart. That was the first deceitful heart that exists. That's right. That's right. Now, the heart is deceitful. Right. And desperately what? Wicked. That was the first. He was. He's the spirit of desperation. Go ahead. Yes, he is. Satan is the spirit of desperation. That's right. He was so determined to fulfill his agenda. Amen. War broke out. War broke out. Amen. That's right. Listen. For thou hast said in thine heart. I will ascend into heaven. I will ascend to heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars oh, of God. He had to be cut down. Oh, yeah. I will exalt myself 
Above what? Above the stars of God. Above what? Above the stars of God. That don't mean the stars you see at night. No. Exalting himself above the stars of God, meaning he exalt himself above the angels of God. That's For in right. the book of Revelation, he said there was seven stars. stars. And the seven stars were the seven angels Jesus. sent to the seven churches of Asia. That's right. So star represent that which appear at night, but reflect a light that you don't see. That's right. Go ahead, say God. Go ahead. Eh? I will exalt my throne. I will exalt my what? My throne. My what? My throne. Now, he already had power. Right. He had power. That's right. But he wasn't good enough for him. No. He wanted God's power. That's right. I will exalt my throne. Above the stars above of God. Above the angels of heaven. I will sit and also. that's not enough. Not enough. I want more. I will sit also. He was the spirit of greed. That's right. Preach it. The reason why preachers love money yeah. because they are sons of their father. That's right. That's right. Why do false prophets love power? Why? They are sons of Satan. That's right. That's right. Same spirit. Same spirit. What do they say? I will exalt my throne above I will exalt the stars of my God. My throne mm. above. Above the stars, the of, stars God. of God. Come I God. will sit also. I will sit also upon the mount of the upon congregation. The mount of the congregation. In the sides of the north. Notice how confident he is. Yeah, I will. The devil give you doubt, but he don't doubt himself. <laughs> That's right. I will. I will. He's confident. Oh yeah. I will. I will. So ascend. confident he's willing to lie, cheat, steal to accomplish his goals. That's right. Huh? I will ascend. I will ascend. Ascend above the heights of the clouds. I'm gonna go. Wait a minute. Mm. The moment he said that, mm -hmm. the moment he said I will ab ascend above above the heights of the clouds. Lord, I'm coming where you are. That's right. Someone said it didn't say that. Oh, yes, it did. Yes, it did. Why? Because the Bible said that Jesus ascended above all, all heavens. heavens. And if he ascended above all heavens, yes. he's above the heights of the clouds. That's right. Go ahead, Glory brother. God. I will ascend. Hey! That's right. I want to lose that. I will ascend. I will ascend. Above the heights of above the clouds. The heights of the clouds. I will. I, this is my next move. I will. I, I'm making all these moves mm -hmm. gradually gaining ground. That's right. Getting closer and closer and closer to God's throne. I will. My last stop. Mm -hmm. I will. Be like. Be like. The most high. God. That's right. And if you look at these low life false prophets. Yeah. That claim they are the Messiah. That's right. They claim they're God. That's right. Before I was born, you had a false prophet named Daddy Grace. Yeah. Oh, he yeah. said he was the reincarnation of Jesus. My Lord, my Lord. Before I was born, you had a false prophet named Father Divine. What a fool. Short, bald hair false prophet. <laughs> Amen. Said he was God said Almighty. Was God. That's right. Before I was born, you had a false prophet named Prophet Jones. Amen. He was a tall, brown-skinned man. Yeah. His trademark was a full-length white mink mm -hmm. and a white mink hat and said he was the reincarnation of Jesus. My Lord. All these men want to be equal to God. That's right. Why? The first one that tried it That's was right. their father. That's right. And they learned the knowledge of evil. Of evil. Amen. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. Are you listening? I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. Adolf Hitler. Yeah. Did the same thing. Same thing. Same thing. Tojo did the same thing. That's right. They declared him to be God. That's right. Same spirit. I will ascend above the heights of the, the clouds. The nation of Islam done the same thing. Same thing. To Master Farad Muhammad, yeah. you said he's God, liar. That's a lie. Talk to me. Amen. That's a lie. No man. No man is God. God is not a man. Oh, 
where you say Jesus was God, that man was not God. That's right. What was in that man was God. That's right. God is not a man. God don't have a birthday. That's right. God don't have a mother. That's right. God don't have no age. Yeah. God without father. Yeah. Without mother. Yeah. Without beginning. Yeah. Without ending. Yeah. Always was. Yeah. Always has been. Go ahead. Go ahead. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah. That's God. That's God. That's God. That's God. God is not a man. Jesus ahead, was the manifestation That's right. of God. Of God in the flesh. God stepped in flesh. That's right. Put God on a body. Christ. That's it. Walked on water. That's right. In a body. That's right. Raised the dead. Yeah. In a body. That's right. Healed the sick. In a body. That's right. Preached the gospel. Go ahead. In a body. Go ahead. Hallelujah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead, brother. God. God was in is Christ. not flesh. No, God is not a God man. God is spirit. That work in flesh. That's it. You know why he worked in Jesus? That's it. So when the church come, yeah. he'll work in the body of Christ. Body of Christ. Are you listening? That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Go ahead, say God. Hallelujah. Are we getting this? Wonderful teaching, brother. Wonderful teaching. When the Bible says, mm. ye are gods, ye are gods. we ain't like the most high. No, no. We have to bow to him. Yeah. Serve him. Oh, yeah. Offer our will to him. Mm -hmm. So when you have the knowledge of good, you're learning the knowledge of God. That's right. When you have the knowledge of evil, you're learning the ways of Satan. That's right. Ye are what? Ye are gods. I have said ye are gods. Let's finish. Mm -hmm. Back in Isaiah. The different characteristics of Satan. Finish up Isaiah. Isaiah 14, still at verse 14. This is a good lesson tonight. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. Hold it. Do any of you hmm. have this exalted spirit? Exalted spirit. <laughs> now hold it. Thank you, Lord. This was another spirit that Satan introduced. Can competition. Competition. That's right. Huh? That's right. Notice everything is I this, uh, I. I that, I that. And he always want to compete what's all against what's already here. That's right. God already put the angels in place. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be higher than them. Be higher than them. And now the angels wasn't enough. Mm -hmm. He went after a God position. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. Now, wait a minute. You're going to go after a God position. Here's the Lord says, who will you liken me unto? Who is my equal? Saith the Holy One. I'm higher than heaven. Deeper than hell. Broader than the sea. Longer than the earth. If I cut you off and shut you up, who can stop me? Right. Who is this that bound the winds in his fists? Yes. And then placed the waters in his garment? Yeah. It is written, what is his name? What is his name? He established all the ends of the earth. What is his name? That's right. What is his son's name? Right. If thou can tell. If you can tell. He walked among the cursus of heaven. Yeah. He spread for brought the north or the north over an empty in place, place and hangs the earth on nothing. That's if right. I lay my bed in hell, He's there. God is there. That's right. If I ascend up into heaven, God is there. He's there. Who would you liken me unto? You liken me unto. Satan. Mm. Another characteristic was introduced. Yeah. The spirit of jealousy. That's right. Yes, when a person is jealous of you, they want your place. Your place. That's right. Am I right, sir? That's right. And they become persistent until they get your place. That's right. So Satan wanted the place of God. That's right. Do you hear? Do you hear? I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I love this stuff. Oh. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. Are you high-minded today? Mm. 
Who do you, are you more holy than thou? More holy, more holy than thou. Get your nose down, you may drown from the rain. That's right. God resists the proud. Mm -hmm. I am holier than thou. Do you hear this? In Isaiah chapter 65 and verse 5. This way many folks are now. We'd say, stand by thyself. Ah, uh, stand by yourself. Come not near to don't, me. Don't, don't, they, uh, they too good to speak to you. That's right. They complain about nobody will speak to them, but yet they won't go, go reach out and speak to no one else themselves. That's right. Talk is plaining that nobody won't speak to you and nobody won't have nothing to do. Who are you speaking to? Amen. Who are you greeting? Yeah. Who are you showing brotherly or sisterly love to? That's right. And if you're not doing it, shut your mouth up Amen. and don't talk about nobody else. That's right. Eh? Come not near to me. You see this attitude here? Stand by thyself. Stand by yourself. Come not near no, to me. Don't even get close to me. For I am holier I than thou. I am more holier than thou. That's the devil. That's the devil. Self-righteous, arrogant, high-minded. That's right. That's right. Hmm? Amen. Come on. Back in Isaiah 14 and verse 14. Yes. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the most high. Oh. I will. I will be like the most high. That's the spirit of a liar. That's right. I will be like the most high. Yet. And the Lord said, who will you liken me you unto? Too. He said, I will be like, like the most high. That's right. Never mind what God said. He had an agenda. Mm -hmm. Now, the tail of the dragon. Mm -hmm. Give me the book of Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 9, not verse 15. Notice with this tail. He drew a third part of the stars of heaven. Right. That means with this tail, not natural tail, but it was a message that caused the third of heaven to fall. That's right. It was a message. Mm -hmm. He tricked them. Yeah. And when he tricked them, they followed him. Mm -hmm. Listen. In Isaiah chapter 9 and at verse 15. Oh, you see, as I often use the example, in the study of Egypt or Egyptology, the Egyptians left their history on the pyramids and on the walls and whatnot, and it was called hieroglyphics. Hieroglyphics uh, is not the alphabet that we know it as today, but it is the history of the Egyptians of various events that happened through the various dynasties of the pharaohs, but they left it in the form of pictures and symbols and images. Well, the Bible also have images and spiritual hieroglyphics that you can't take literally without having divine revelation to know the meaning of it. That's it. Now go back to Revelation. Let's read that before we go to Isaiah. Back, what happened to the dragon? Back in Revelation 12 and verse 4. Says what? And his tail drew the third part of the stars of heaven. Hold it right there. His tail. 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 Now when you say tail mm -hmm. on a dragon, what you think? Hollywood, right? Yeah. He walking this tail flat. Right. Mm -hmm. it, ain't, it ain't that at all. Not at all. First, why is Satan called a dragon? Mm -hmm. Because he got the spirit of a beast. A beast. What you mean? Satan is unruly. Oh, okay. yeah. Okay. He's the spirit of confusion. Right. And the spirit of war. That's right. Paul said, I fought with beasts at Ephesus after the manner of what? Men. Men. Now let me show you in the Bible what tail means. In Isaiah chapter 9 and verse 15. Isaiah 9 15 says. The, the ancient and honorable. Hold it. That's God. That's God. The ancient. And honorable. And honorable. He is the head. The head of the church is who? He. God. The ancient. And honorable. The ancient. The ancient. He's the ancient of days. That's right. He had no beginning and no ending. Right. The ancient. And honorable. And honorable. He is the head. He's the head. He's the king. That's right. But what? And the prophet. Meaning messenger. That teacheth lies. That teach lies. What is he? He is the tail. That's it. That's it. And what was used to remove the stars? And his tail drew the third part of the stars of heaven. What was used to remove the stars? His tail drew. So the message. Drew, drew a third that's right of the stars of the stars of heaven you see the tail mm. represent what's in back that's right notice the ancient is the head he is the head 
That means truth go first. Right. That's right. And that lie come behind. Behind it. it. So the prophet says they shall hear a voice behind them, behind them saying, saying this is the way. Is the way. After the lie come, yeah. truth sweep it up. That's right. So Satan come after God. Yeah. He comes behind the good. That's right. Did he not come behind God after what God told Adam and Eve? That's right. What not to, do? not to do? So did he come behind the ancient being the tail? Yeah. Glory to God. The ancient and honorable. And he's still using the tail. Still using it. Still using it. You false prophets. Teacheth lies. You are tail preachers. That's right. Got a tail in your mouth. That's right. That's why you're causing people to backslide and yeah, turn yeah. on God oh, yeah. and go to hell. Amen. Tell. You are sons of a dragon. Mm. Huh? Go ahead, man. Sons of a dragon. That's right. And daughters of a serpent. And the prophet that teacheth lies. What? The prophet that teacheth lies. What is it? He is the tale. That's like the devil got a third part of heaven to take sides with him. Yeah. The false prophets get people all around the world to take sides with them. That's right. That's right. Do you see how plain the Bible has it? Amen. Amen. He's That's called a dragon. Dragon. Not that he's flesh and blood. No. But he had the spirit of a beast. Now in Revelation chapter 12 and verse 7. Are you getting this? Amen. We are working on the different descriptions of Satan. Yeah. And they give you clarity what they mean. That's right. All right. Revelation 12 now down at verse 7. What is it? And there was war in heaven. Oh yeah. Amen. Amen. I hope you can get this knowledge. Amen. If you can't, you better order the message. Yeah. You want to know who you're up against. Amen. That's right. There was what? There was war in heaven. War is confusion. Yeah. God is not the author of confusion. No. What brought about war? What bring about conflict? Mm -hmm. Two different minds. That's right. Two different objectives. Mm -hmm. Two different agendas, Amen. two different purposes, yeah. two different ideas, mm -hmm. two different standards, right. two different doctrines. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, man. War, war in heaven. War in heaven. Michael and his angels. Michael and his angels. Fought against the dragon. Now I want it to be good for you lying Jehovah Witness. Because <laughs> your tail came along and said Michael is Jesus. Wow. Wow. I'll make you look that up. I'll make you look that up real good. Yeah. They say Michael is Jesus. That's a lie. That's a lie. That's a lie out of hell. That's right. All right, come on. And there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon. And? And the dragon fought and his angels. And? And prevailed not, neither was their place found anymore in heaven. That lets you know the devil cannot be saved. His right. place was not found no more. Anymore in heaven. He will never go to heaven again. That's right. Never. Never again. Thank God for that. Any more. Any more. All and, right. And the great dragon was cast out. The great dragon mm -hmm. was cast out. That Notice. Now hold it. His name is not even called yet. Not yet. Titles are used to describe him. Right. The great dragon, meaning the great warrior, was cast out. One who started great confusion. Yeah. He was cast out. What else did we call him? That old serpent. Old serpent. Now hold it. Amen. If he was called old serpent when he was cast out, mm. how long was he deceiving while he was there? That's right. That's right. How long That's was true. the war going on? That's true. Old For when you say old, old. that means time just kept moving, kept moving. Yeah. Until you became old, experienced a master at what you were doing. My Lord. How long? So how long? That's right. Were you planning? Wow. Plotting? Coercing? Mm. How long was you deceiving? Now, the scriptures speak against idolatry, the introduction to spiritual fornication. That's right. That's right. I, I, I just thought that you can.
commit spiritual adultery because Jesus said whoever look on, look on a woman to lust have committed the act already. No, mm -hmm. no, no. no, no. Uh, you, you can commit fornication mm -hmm. spiritually also. In the book of the wisdom of Solomon, chapter 14. You see, you need wisdom to understand what God said in Solomon. That's right. Listen. In the book of the wisdom of Solomon, chapter 14 and verse 12. All this wickedness began up there. Right. It came here. It came down. Didn't begin here. It began there. That's right. You just have to know how. That's right. Listen. In the book of the wisdom of Solomon, chapter 14 and verse 12. For the devising of idols. Amen. Now, before you even get an idol, you got to devise it. That's right. Plan it. The very planning process. Yeah. The devising of idols. The devising of idols. The devising of idols. Was the beginning. Was the introduction. Of spiritual fornication. Spiritual fornication. Go ahead, brother. How can a spirit fornicate? Go ahead. Go ahead. Remember, ain't no women in heaven. No women. There's no pregnancy. There's no marriage, no given in marriage. That's right. Because according to the book, angels are spirits. Spirits. Spiritual fornication. Yeah. First, let's understand it earthly. Jesus said, if I tell you earthly things and you don't get it, how can I tell you, tell you heavenly? heavenly? Fornication is committed by those who are not married and the seed that is spilled is unlawful seed. Seed that is not justifiable in spilling. Right. Seed have another title in the book. The book says the seed is the word. The word. The word. The knowledge of good and evil is the planting of seed. That's right. The devising of idols, of idols. is mm -hmm. the what? Spiritual fornication. Is the what? The beginning. Wait a minute. The beginning. It's the beginning? The beginning. The first idol mm. that was devised <laughs> Go ahead. was Satan. That's right. He was the first idol. That's right. They worship idols. Yeah. They bow to idols. Oh, yeah. The word bow just simply means to submit. That's a right. whole third of heaven submitted. That's right. That's right. But wait a minute, Pastor Jennings. Did they fornicate? Yes. Yeah. Why? Because the seed that came from him oh, yeah. produced fighters. That's right. Who lined themselves up. With him. Right. And he had a following. Yes, he did. In order to get a following, they got to believe the seed you put in them. Right. That's right. In order to get a following, they got to believe the seed you put in them. Right. The seed is the message. Right. What was Satan's message? Oh, I would be like the most high. I would exalt myself above the stars. The Spirit, spiritual fornication was done first. Right. Before it hit the earth. Right. For the devising of idols was the beginning. The devising of idols. Mm -hmm. And he planned. Yeah. He devised. That's right. He planned. He schemed. Right. And the scheme was about himself. That's right. It was the beginning of spiritual fornication. Now, and the invention of them. What? And the invention of them? Are the corruption of life. I told you. <laughs> Amen. Well, the Bible said it corrupted life. What life was corrupted? The angel's life. Well, how was it corrupted? Let me show you where they end up. Give me the book of Jude. Jude, Jude it, chapter it, 1. It corrupt them so bad, it will take their corruption all the way to eternity. That's right. Jude chapter 1 and at verse 6. This is how bad the corruption was. And the angels. Glory to God. Do you hear all of this Bible? And the angels. Give chapter verse. Jude chapter 1 and verse 6. And the angels. Which kept not their first estate. Hold it. They kept not their first estate. Their first the question estate. is, what was the first estate or place of the angels? Of the angels. The angels were what? Holy. 
That was their first estate. First estate. Their first position. That's right. Holy, divine, eternal beings. My Lord, my Lord. <coughs> Kept not their first estate. Satan was so powerful, he caused them to backslide. That's right. He made spirits fall. That's right. That's right. He undermined, undermined. spirits. Mm. You low life, false television, false prophets, telling folks the devil ain't got no power. My Lord. The devil undermined you. That's why you say it. That's right. <laughs> undermine the false prophet. That's right. Listen. And the angels which kept not their first estate. But, but what? But left their own habitation left for someone to convince you to leave left you have to believe what they saying is better than what you're in that's right that's right am i right like that that's right mm. so they plant seed in you yeah. and you have to believe it before you can respond to it that's right and then you leave left. truth left left their own habitation they left their holy place that's right which was a habitation that god made for them that's right mm -hmm. but left their own habitation and what he has reserved in everlasting chains this was the punishment mm -hmm. from leaving the perfect one he has reserved in everlasting chains. he got them reserved mm -hmm. For everlasting change. Under darkness. Under darkness. Unto the judgment of the great day. That's what is meant when the Bible said the church shall judge angels. That's right. Those are the angels that the church going to judge. That's right. For and if, they in prison waiting for the church. For if God spared not the angels that sinned. Do you hear this? Now in 2 Peter chapter 2 and verse 4. You sinners that are listening and you sinners that are here. Right. That have not repented of your sins and obeyed the gospel and was baptized in the name of Jesus Christ That's you right. think you're going to get away Amen. you really think you're going to get away for if God spared not if God did not spare the angels that sinned the angels Amen. Amen. hallelujah 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 if God didn't spare angels if God spared not the angels that sinned who in the world you think you are hallelujah hallelujah but if God said I shall you escape if you neglect so great a so salvation. Great, so great. We got the first, hallelujah. Go ahead. Began to be spoken by the Lord. Then it was confirmed unto us by them that heard them. For that them that heard him, him. The one that heard him were the apostles. Right. They heard him. That's right. And if you could not escape the Lord, you're not going to escape them. That's right. And if you think you're going to get away from them, then God's going to set up a day where you will hear him. That's, That's right. what the Bible said. That day of the Lord the will Lord. come. Amen. Go ahead, man. You don't want to hear what the apostles say. All right, All right. The Lord's day will come. Yes, it will. And it won't be nobody else preaching. No, no. You're going to hear what God said. That's right. That's right. For if God spared not the angels that sinned. Get this high-minded, hard-head, hypocrite preacher that's Amen. loyal to your organization. That's right. And you scared to come out of it because you got a bunch of friends there. Nigga, you came in the world and nigga, you shall return. That's right. Yeah? God spared not God the angels that sinned. Spared not the angels that sinned. But cast them. But he sent them. Down to hell. Down to hell. And delivered them. And delivered them. Into chains of darkness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We'll take God in the chains of darkness. To be reserved unto judgment. You are reserved. Mm. And to judge And spared not the old he world. He didn't spare the old world. But saved Noah the eighth person. You Jehovah Witness, you Jehovah Witness. Yeah. Fools. That's a fool. And slow of heart. Amen. Now here they talking about the earth ain't going to burn up. <laughs> My Lord. Some years ago before I left home and got married, there was some Jehovah Witness that would come up the neighborhood in Huntington Park. And there was one fella named Victor. He became very familiar with me. I was in my early teens. Mm -hmm. He got very familiar because I kept stopping his mouth with the Bible. Amen. Got so familiar until when he come around, wouldn't talk about the Bible. He would come around and start saying, how's the weather? <laughs> how's the weather? How you feel, Gino? You're doing all right? It was uh, just a friendly conversation friendly. <laughs> because he didn't want a bruising. That's right. That's so, right. uh... 
You know, the Jehovah Witness don't believe in divine healing, don't believe in speaking in tongue, don't believe in one God, don't believe in the baptism in the name of Jesus Christ, don't believe that God talked in the ultimate voice. There's so much they don't believe, don't believe it's no hell. No, no hell. No listen, hell. listen, if it wasn't no hell, we ain't having no more conventions. <laughs> That's right. It's over. Huh? If it ain't no it's hell, over. this is the last it's convention the last we one. gonna have. That's right. And I'm stuck. out the pulpit right. and I ain't gonna worry about none of you ever again <laughs> I ain't preaching no more no more there ain't no hell forget it I'm done that's right finished I'm finished finished the curtain going close and I'm going off the stage I'm getting out of here Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. you get what I'm talking Amen. he said there's no hell so I said come on Vic come in the kitchen a minute there ain't no fire, so I turned my mother's stove on, and I grabbed Vic's hand, forcefully. You know, I mocked him like I was going to put it in the fire. Because if you don't believe in fire, it won't bother you. It won't bother you. It won't bother you at all. That's right. And I started motioning his hand towards the flame. He said, Gino, what you doing? What you doing? I said, you don't believe in no fire. No, 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 what you doing? I did not let it go. I said, you're not a fool. <laughs> you're not a fool. That's right. He know that fire is real. It's real. You Jehovah Witnesses, you're liars sent by the tail. That's right. You're sent by by, by the, the devil from the devil and leading thousands into hell that's right going from door to door with a comic book amen lord help him. i want to say to my viewers every jehovah witness that come to your door and give you a comic book tear it up and throw it in the trash that's right yeah? that's right throw it in the trash amen that's nothing but recycled waste that's all the earth ain't going to burn up. It's not. But the day it's of the not. Lord. It's not. Amen. Do you hear this? Second Peter chapter 3 and at verse 10. What is but the day of the Lord will come. It's coming. That's right. What do God care if you don't believe it? Amen. What if some do not believe? Show their unbelief. Make the faith of God of none effect. God Amen. forbid. Amen. Let God be true in, it, in every man. Every that God, man. every Jehovah witness that ever was born. That's right. Every man be a liar. But the day of the Lord will come. That day. Listen, this is the this, this is Jehovah's day. Right. Huh? The day of the Jehovah Lord. Jehovah talking about his day is the, coming. The day of the Lord the will come. The day of the Lord will come. As a thief in the night. As a thief in the night. Into which in the, the heavens which, shall pass in away. Into which the heavens shall pass away. With a great noise. With a great noise. And the elements shall, element shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also. What? The earth also. You old fools talking about the earth is not going to pass away. And you quote the scripture when you don't understand yeah. that the earth abided forever. As I said before, forever is not eternal. No. Forever is an indefinite period of time in which a certain thing would be done. Yeah. And that that thing is done, then that forever cease. That's but right. when the Bible says forever and ever and ever and ever, go now ahead. you go from time into eternity. That's right. Yeah. The earth also. The earth, hallelujah. Oh, we take God to earth also. And the works that are there in. And the work. All your Watchtower magazine. All the works. And your Watchtower warehouse in New York. And the works that are the there works in. The works there in. Shall be burned up. God going to burn it up. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Looking for. Yeah, God going to burn it up. Yes, he will. Looking for. And hasting unto the hasting coming. Hasting unto the coming of the day of God. Where in the heavens being on fire. No, the heaven is not going to be on fire. He's just going to take a big vacuum cleaner and suck out pollution. Where in the heavens being on fire. My Bible tells me that the heaven is going to be on fire. Shall be dissolved. And it's going to be dissolved. And the and, elements and shall the melt. And the elements shall melt with firm and heat. Nevertheless. Nevertheless. We according to his promise. You see Jehovah Witnesses? Mm -hmm. Jehovah Witnesses? You don't believe in no hell. No. Why you believe in heaven? Right. Why is that? 
That's Why you right. believe in heaven? You don't believe in no hell, in hell. Then take heaven and throw that away. That's right. You're not a fool. Amen. Huh? Nevertheless, we. Nevertheless, we, according, according to, to his, his promise, promise, look for new heavens. We look for new heaven. And a new earth. New heaven. New. That lets you know new. this heaven ain't going to stay here. That's right. Because it's not new. That's right. New heavens. New heavens. And a new earth. And a what? And a new earth. Why he going to bring a new earth? Because he going to burn this one up. That's right. And, and what's going to be that? Wherein dwelleth righteousness. All right, let's go back to the book of Revelation because my time is getting away and I have to knock off. Come on, sir. Back in Revelation chapter 12 and verse 9. We've been working long each night, but and, come on. And the great dragon was cast out. Then what? That old serpent. That old serpent. Called the called devil. the devil. And Satan. And Satan. Which deceiveth the whole world. What? Which deceiveth the whole world. That got America. That's right. Whoever, whoever's the next president, he's deceived before he get in there. Amen. That's right. I don't care if he's wicked, hell-deserving Donald Trump. Amen. The multi-billionaire devil. Go ahead. Deceiveth the whole world. What? Deceiveth the whole world. Now, let me say this. Mm. You know, some of you folk agree with Trump because he said he will stop all Muslims from coming in the country because they're terrorists. My Lord. Really? What a fool. All right, then Trump, why don't you leave the country? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amen. Go ahead, brother. Well, why would I leave the country? I'm a Christian. If you're a Christian, Christian. I look at the so-called Christian according to history, they were slave owners. Yes, they were. I'm not talking about those that follow Christ in the Bible. No. But them that profess to be Christians in America, right. they were slave owners. That's right. They raped women go ahead they rape girls yeah they sodomize boys yeah and they were bigots oh yeah you're a presbyterian mm -hmm. if you look at the history of the presbyterian church ahead, they were brother. slave owners yeah so pack up and get out the country <laughs> that's right pack up and leave america that's right get out of town get out of town go ahead brother you're a hypocrite that's a hypocrite amen that's all I is. kill everything under the sun. <laughs> That's it. Hmm? That's right. Hey Amen. Come on, son. And the great dragon was cast out. The great dragon was cast out. That old serpent. What? That old that old serpent, serpent called, called the, the devil, devil and Satan and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. He tricked Trump, Bush, Barack, <laughs> Clinton, them. Hillary. That's right. He tricked all of them. Deceiveth the whole world. You got a whole panel of deceived Democrats. Yeah. And a whole panel of deceived Republicans. That's right. You, he deceived the, whole uh, world. the Supreme Court. Mm. A bunch of grown men now condoning sissyism. That's right. Am I right, man? Yeah. Talk to me. Yeah. Talk to me. Yeah. Deceiveth. Deceiveth. Yeah, it's something. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah. That's what the truth of God has to offer you. That's right. What is that? Which deceiveth the whole world. All right, let's get some more of the attributes of Satan. Now, let's get the apostleship. Mm -hmm. Give me the book of Corinthians. Book of Corinthians. Let's get the apostleship. Amen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> book of 2 Corinthians. Give me 2 Corinthians, and also we'll get the second chapter of the book of Revelation. Revelation. We have to move quick because my time is getting away. In 2 Corinthians chapter 11, I and just verse can't, 13. I just can't unload everything that God put on me in one night. That's but right. But I have to give you before I get out of here. Come on, son. For such are false apostles. Such are tricksters. Mm -hmm. Such are false representatives of God. Deceitful workers. Deceitful workers. Workers transforming themselves. They made themselves. That let you know God had nothing to do with them being in the pulpit. pit. Transforming Imagine themselves. Imagine that an apostle living together with a woman that's not his wife. My Lord. And fools following him. That's you, right. That's not apostle. That's a pimp. That's right. What's the matter with you? Amen. A man is an apostle and he's living with a woman that's not his wife. Not his wife. That's not an apostle. That's a pimp. That's right. He's a possum. Yeah. He's not an apostle. He's a possum. That's a possum. Eh? That's right. That's a possum. You believe in divorce and you're an apostle, you're a liar. Amen. You don't believe in one God, you're an apostle, you're a liar. That's a liar. Huh? False apostles. False. We have taken us, hallelujah. Glory to God. We have taken the same stand that the apostles have 
formally took. That's right. And as Brother James said, God knows there is no change in us at all. Amen. Not at all. That's right. Not at all. That's right. You know, most men, when they start out the way we did with a little small congregation in a house, they were strict, they was firm. And then when they got a congregation like this, they all changed. We got yeah. hundreds and in some place thousands. Yeah. We will not change at all. That's right. That's no, right. sir. Amen. Go ahead, brother. We will not change to keep a member. We will not change to gain one. That's right. Why? The objective is not to please people. No. Glory to God, but it is to please God. That's right. And what did he say? Such a false apostle. Such a false apostle. Deceitful workers. Deceitful workers. Transforming themselves. They made themselves. Into the apostles of Christ. Into the apostles of Christ. And no marvel. Don't be surprised. For Satan himself. Who? Satan himself. Who? Satan himself. Who? Satan himself. What did the devil do? Is transformed into an angel of light. He come like the real thing. That's right. The devil come like the real thing. Oh, yeah. What do you mean? He baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. He preach about the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues. Yes, he will. But the devil speaking in tongues when he get ready. Yeah. It ain't no as the spirit give utterance. No, no. You've seen it in these false churches. Mm -hmm. Preachers get up there. And uh, the Lord said. Oh, oh, waffle pancakes. Yes. That's right. Amen. Just say anything. Anything. He get up there in the pulpit and he lose, he lose his paperwork. Right. He got right. a sermon written out, he lose it. Uh, and you know that Lord, oh, hey, Papa, Peter, pick a pepper. Lord, help him. Amen. It's not as the Spirit give up. No, no. He turn it on mm -hmm. and turn it off. Turn it off. And turn it off. Turn it off. False apostles. False apostles. For Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. I want you to recognize him. Therefore, if he's transformed into the angel of light, mm -hmm. he have mastered the craft of shape-shifting. Yeah. Coming as an angel of light is projecting the image of truth. Yeah. Coming as your brother. Coming as your sister. Coming as someone who have your best interest at heart. Mm -hmm. Coming as someone who want to work for God. Mm -hmm. Coming as someone who claim they are a preacher. Yeah. But in all their motive is to lead you astray away from the will of God, the purpose of God, and the standard of God. And no marvel. And don't be surprised when it happens. For Satan You know some himself. folks say, oh man, I, I thought he had never backslide. Yeah. I, I, I thought he, I thought, I thought she had never backslide. Oh yeah. When someone backslide, what did the Bible say? Satan and no marvel. How should we feel? No marvel. Amen. No marvel. Man, he used to be a preacher. He left his church and ran off with Sister McGallica stuff. No marvel. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Am I right? That's right. Man, that's the preacher's wife. Oh, it was? Yeah, man, she, she left. Mm. She left with Deacon Hooker Book and went on about her business. No marvel. <laughs> I was in the barbershop, <laughs> and they, they had one of our telecasts on in the barbershop, you know, today. And, uh, and one of the brothers that was cutting my hair, he, uh, yeah. He, he talked about one of the barbers. They often mock me. One barber said, uh, Gino, he said, if I be a preacher, I'm, uh, I, you know, I'm going to be a good false prophet. He said, they're going to call me Reverend Feelgood. My Lord. My Lord. No, not Reverend Feelgood. Reverend, feel all over me. <laughs> Reverend, My feel Lord. all over me. My Lord. So the other, other, brother, the other barber said, oh. You're going to be reverend for all over me, and your dick is going to be called Deacon Jangalang, 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 Jangalang. <laughs> my Lord. Reverend Phil all over me, and my Deacon Jangalang. <laughs> the barber kept thinking about it. He had to take a break from cutting my hair. He, he just couldn't stop laughing. <laughs> hey Amen. Reverend Deacon Jangalang. Deacon Jangalang. And Reverend Phil all over me. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hmm? And you got him just like that in the pulpit. That's right. Come on, son. And no marvel. Don't you be surprised. For Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. 
Therefore, therefore, it is no great thing. It is no great thing if his ministers also. Now, I told you there's two there's two sets of ministers. That's right. The Bible said, "He whom God has sent, speak the words of who? God. God sent men out. Yeah. And who also got men? Therefore, it is no great thing if his ministers. All right, all right. Yeah, hear me now. Amen. You that are the ministers of the devil, mm -hmm. if you don't know you are, I want to give you a newsflash. Dude, that's right. Baptist, Methodist, Presbyterian, Lutheran, non-denominational, Pentecostal, his Jehovah ministers. Witnesses, mm -hmm. Mormon. Huh? Amen. Many of you so-called apostolic. Yeah. The devil sent many of you. His In ministers. fact, the devil sent most of you so-called apostolic faith preachers. That's right. Because if you was truly of God, you would not change. No, you would. You know, when you change, you leave the word of God right. and you go out from us. That's right. Given the book of the epistle of John. Yeah. When you go out from God, you change. Changed. When you leave the word of God, you change. In 1 John chapter 2. 1 John chapter 2. And at verse 19. Verse 19 says. They went out from us. When you go out from the apostles doctrine, you bring something else in. That's right. That's why Bible way now, you can divorce and remarry. Yeah. So-called refuge church of Christ now. Many of them, you can divorce and remarry and right. women preacher. That's right. So-called evangelistic churches now. Many of them divorce, yeah, remarry. Or well, some of them want to bring women preachers half naked women right. earrings splits in their clothes lip lipstick and claim they're apostolic mm, they went out from us you went out went out from us men in the pulpit with more than one wife right men in the pulpit living together not married that's right what they went out I from us blasted to hell that's right huh? amen and i do it with the word of god amen that's why some of you preachers you're afraid of me oh yeah but if you got the same, if you got the Holy Ghost, yes. you won't be afraid of me. No, no. Amen. Go ahead, brother. Why are you afraid of me? I'm not God. That's right. You're supposed to fear God. That's right. You're afraid of what we're preaching. Amen. Because That's what we're it. preaching is against you. Yeah. Yo, hold on to that wife and go to hell. Go ahead. Before you walk with the truth of God. That's right. Every man that wants to be saved, come walk with the truth of God. That's right. Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! You mean business? And if you believe in holiness, come on, walk with the truth of God. Come on. Come out of your organization. That's right. Lay down your position. That's right. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. Get on the Lord's side. Get on the Lord's side. You know woman preaching is wrong? Go ahead. Stop being a poor pit hypocrite. That's right. Amen. Scared to preach against it because your friend scared of him. Got his wife as a preacher now. Yeah. You don't want to hurt his feelings. Yeah. If you don't hurt her feelings, hell will. Yes, they will. Yes, they will. close to nobody yeah. there got to be a separation that's right go ahead brother I love all my brothers yeah. but I'm not that close to one that I would jeopardize my eternal life that's right God forbid if my brother Jones turn yes, and start getting women preachers yes sir I talk to him. Yeah. Want to know what happened? Yeah. Try to help him. Right. 
Go back to the original book. Yeah. And if you refuse to change, yes. I got to take the dust. I got to shake the dust. If Dan change, all of a sudden, oh, we, 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 we won't. We won't. We go, come along, and I feel as though that divorce is right now. You know, it's nothing, nothing wrong with divorce. I want everyone to turn your cell phones off because we won't. All that divorce. And now divorce is right. Uh, I'm going to get the word of God. Talk to him. That's it. Come to the Bible. Yeah. Refuse to change. Amen. I may talk to him the second time. Because the Bible says after the first and second admonition, reject. 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 He don't take it the second go round. Shake the dust. Got to reject him. Amen. Amen. Huh? Amen. Talk to Taylor. Amen. Have to tell us the praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise him. <laughs> huh? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise him. I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> Am I right, folks? Yeah. <laughs> but if PT, I have to call him PT. Amen. If he changed. And all of a sudden, now, three gods? I'm going to talk to them. Tell them what's going on, man. How did you come up with this? I'm going to look at every scripture he looked at. Because the scripture's got to harmonize. He don't want to change after the first and second admonition. Got to shake the dust off. Reject. Nobody supposed to be closer to you then your God. That's right. Nobody. Amen. Nobody. Nobody. Amen. Don't you ever forget it. Yes. No one Nobody. supposed to be closer to you than God. Than God. Nobody. For Jesus said, I am the way Amen. and the truth right. and the life. And the life. Are oh, you listen to what I'm telling you? They went out from us. When you turn on God, preacher, mm. you did what? They went out from us. This chapter and verse again. First John chapter two and verse nineteen. The moment you turn on God, you went out. Went out from us. Even if you keep coming to church and you got a false doctrine and you believe that lie, you're not with God. That's right. They went out. They went out from us. They went out from us. But they were not of us. They're not of the church. For if they had They're been not of, of us, the body. Right. They're not of the doctrine of Christ. That's right. For if they had been of us, if they had been of the apostles, they would no doubt have no continued. Doubt. No, doubt. no doubt. No doubt. No question about it. No question about it. Mm. They would have continued. God is us. one. They would have continued. No women preachers. Right. They would have continued. No divorce. Right. They would have continued. No trinity. They would, have, they would have continued. That's Got right. to have your head covered. Yeah. They would have continued. No dying hair. That's right. They would have continued, continued, no finger rings, That's right. no ankle chains, no nail polish, no toenail polish, no bracelets, no necklaces, no homosexuality. Yeah. No doubt. No doubt. No doubt. No first lady. That's right. No doubt. No doubt. No banquets. Yeah. Who would have continued with us steadfastly and the apostles' doctrine That's right. and fellowship and breaking of bread yeah. and in prayer. That's right. No doubt. Many of you old men, Go ahead. you old enough to be my grandfather. Yeah. You are an embarrassment Amen. to the church yeah. and to the pulpit. Yeah. I speak this to your shame. Amen. Lord help him. Young Zalius. Yeah. Got old, you became weak. Yeah. Feeble. Feeble. Bow to every skirt that come in church. Right. That's right. Your wife run the church. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Wife don't like something in church, you change it. Yeah. Why? So your bed can stay warm. <laughs> That's right. That's right. That's right. They went out. Wife don't like that brother in church, you preach on him. Yeah. Wife don't like that sister in church, you preach on her. Amen. Wife don't like that position in church, you remove that person. Right. Yeah. Everything the wife don't like, you bow. Right. 
You're not a preacher. Not a, not a preacher. You're not a preacher. No. Your wife is your overseer. Oh, yeah. Your wife is your leader. And your wife is your God. That's right. That's right. Amen. They went out from us. You went out from God. But they were not You of went us. out from the apostles. Yeah. And then the apostles told us the reason why. But they were not of you us. You wasn't of them. For if they had been of us. This is plain. Amen. If you had been of the church of the Lord Jesus Christ. They would no doubt. No doubt. Have continued. No doubt. No doubt. No doubt. Have continued. You would have kept it up. With us. But. But. They went out. But you went out. That they might be made manifest. That it might be made manifest. That they were not all of us. You was not of the apostles' doctrine. That's right. Not of it. And it still happened. Amen. You can't offer me nothing that it give me to change. No, no. Tell them, say, I don't believe it. What do I care? Try me. <laughs> That's it. Try you know out. how many came here and tried to get me to change? Amen. Do you know how many tried? Mm-hmm. And everyone that tried to get me to change, I'm still here. Still they, here. That's right. They're not. That's right. You can't offer me money, position, gone. praise, it's wealth, gone. house, land, nothing. Nothing. There's nothing that you can think of that you can offer me now that'll get me to change. That's right. That's wonderful. Why is it like that? Because there's a place called hell. <laughs> Amen. And God ain't going to change hell. And I'm not going to change to go to hell. That's it. That's it. Have the knowledge of good. Amen. We are gods. We are gods. Meaning we have the knowledge of good and evil. Mm -hmm. Hereby know we the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. Mm -hmm. and the spirit of truth lies in the scripture. That's right. And the truth come to set you free. Yeah. The spirit of error is the characteristics of Satan. It is the objectives and the motives of the devil. That is moving, moving, moving in religion around the world. Mm -hmm. That's why you bow your head and raise your hand and think you accept Christ. Mm -hmm. That's why you watch some false prophet before you turn to us on. And you bow your head and raise your hand with your eyes closed looking at Benny Hill. Amen. Benny Hill. Amen. Who ain't no better than Benny Hill was. That's right. You'll go to some big tent meeting. Yeah. And look at some false prophet blow on you. And you fall out. Amen. You look at Benny Hinn. They got uh, videotapes of him blowing and about 10,000 people fall at once. My Lord you go me. give that man a big bottle of Listerine. That's too much. Amen. That's, just, that's, that's too bad. Yeah, that's too bad. That's just too much corruption going on. That's right. You don't read where Jesus or Blow the apostle around. walking around blowing on everybody, falling out like a bunch of insects. <laughs> no, no. You say, that's the power of God. No, that's having a form of godliness. That's right. Because the Holy Ghost do not behave itself how? Unseemly. God don't behave himself in no unscriptural manner. That's right. That's right. Go ahead, brother. Repent of your sins. Go ahead. Everything, time to be sorry about your own. This is 2016. God have given you an extension on life. You that are still living. Amen. And he don't have you still here so you can glory in your flesh, do what you want to do, be hard-headed, be stubborn, and be rebellious, and then be baptized and then go to falsehood. Oh, no. Oh, no. God got you breathing. He's just giving you a little more time to get yourself right. I so see. you repent now and be sorry about being a fool. Repent of your sins okay. and go down in water. Your mama got to do it. Your daddy got to do it. Your granddaddy, your son, your husband, your daughter. Right. They got to repent too. You mother and father, don't send your children to be baptized. Mm -hmm. They got to make that decision on their own. That's right. And they can't make it unless they understand. That's right. But what if God said in all thine getting, get an understanding. Yeah. In the time of this ignorance, God winked at, but now God command, not Pastor Jennings, God, God command all men everywhere to do what? Repent. You got to repent. And then you got to be baptized, 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 baptized. Mm -hmm. Mr. Handsome Man. That's right. Miss Cutie. Mm -hmm. You got to take yourself them. right down in water and get those cute sins washed away. <laughs> That's right. You're going to be burning in the hell. Yeah. Amen. One oh, thing yeah. about hell, it ain't made just for ugly folk. <laughs> oh, no. I say that because some women think they're too cute yeah, huh. yes, to walk with God. Too cute. <laughs> My Lord. And some men the same way. Mm -hmm. So conceited, so arrogant. His suit cost so much, he felt as though it was undignified to get on his knees. Yeah. 
But when the Bible said every knee shall bow, mm -hmm. something hits your life. You'll find yourself on your knees. Yes, you will. Amen. Amen. Time will come in your life, brother. You'll be on your knees. You'll forget all about what you got on. That's right. Huh? You'll be on your knees even if you're trying to outrun a dog. And you're on your knees trying to get your breath. Amen. You forgot all about what you had on. That's right. God knows what to bring in your life to humble you down. The loftiness just, of just man. Just like he cut the devil down to the ground, yeah. your day is coming. Oh, yeah. Repent of your sins and be baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ. If there's anybody here tonight that's been hearing this message moreover, and you didn't yet make a change, you still haven't made a change. Now it's time for you to get yourself right. What's the matter with you? That's right. You didn't discover no magic water. Got you getting younger. No, you didn't. No. You're getting closer and closer to the grave. And the Lord our God is getting closer and closer to this earth. Yeah. Anybody want to be baptized and get on God's side in the name of Jesus Christ? Stand on your feet. Come on. Anybody else? All of you that's standing, you see them brothers over there and that sister? Go over there where they are. Go over there where they are and get yourself ready to come over on God's side. Every night, souls is given up every night, every Amen. single night. Amen. Think of it. Like I said, last year alone, 1,097 went down in water in one year. Amen. In one year. Amen. And most men haven't baptized 10 souls in five years. Thank God the Holy Ghost is doing the job, not Pastor Jennings. The Holy Ghost is doing it, and God knows we owe everything to him. Thank you for listening, brothers and sisters. Come on back tomorrow. Come on back tomorrow. Before you leave, we're going to get ready to pray. Come on back tomorrow. Prayer will begin at 1130 on tomorrow. And tomorrow I have an announcement that I want to make. Before we dive into the message, I want to make an announcement and address some of you auxiliaries and you that stand heads of auxiliaries. So God willing, we'll make that announcement tomorrow. Let us all stand. Thank God. And uh Brother Minister Abraham from Florida will close us out in prayer. We thank you, Lord, for this opportunity today. Lord, that you allow us to be here. We thank you for the word. Lord, we ask you to let us obey it. Let us season in our hearts and in our minds so that we can become closer to you. We thank you, Lord, for this opportunity. Thank you for the souls that are, that are making the, the right choice of getting baptized tonight. We thank you for my brothers and sisters tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ, thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank God for you, brother.